Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back watching Breaking Bad Season 4, Episode 9. Last episode, we got a bit of a backstory on Gus. But not only Gus, Hector and oh, that other guy, I don't remember, that Gus killed and the... Big dog, I guess. Of Gus's brother, head of cartel. Yeah, those, those kind of guys. <laughs> yeah. You said other guy, big dog. Like they're not really good to remember themselves. So. Hopefully, people can understand a little big bit. Big dog of the cartel. I don't remember his name. Anyways, we're horrible with names. But it was intriguing to get a little bit more of an insight into Gus and his world and what he's been through. Although it was really just a teaser, wasn't it? Because there's this whole other life that he's been referring to and everyone's been referring to in Chile. Yeah, there's a big blank there into who he was, why he's got no records of himself. Yeah. And all the rest of it. Obviously, he wanted to start a new life, right? And for that to happen, I feel like something massive needs to, needs to have gone down. So, I don't know what he was involved with. Again, I was theorizing he was still in the drug game. That's why he was so, I guess, ambitious to come to Mexico and, you know, with his chicken, Los Boyos, then he's also selling drugs on the side or giving samples. <coughs> <laughs> I'm holding it for so long, dude, and you're talking so slow. Oh my god. Oh, dude, I was actually dying in that. <laughs> what am I supposed to know? I thought you'd wrap it up and you'd do like pausing, pausing. I'm like just choking. <laughs> so forget what you're up to. No, I finished. I was you for your response. You finished as I coughed? Yeah. <laughs> I was just talking about gas. He's back to her in Chile and like still having an involvement with drugs there. Something significant must have happened for him to change his life. <laughs> Stop it. So there's definitely a lot of emphasis on these Chile files, or his life at, in Chile before mm -hmm. then. Like there's a lot of question marks there. I don't know. It is interesting that... <laughs> it is interesting though that Mike said, if I can't find information on that, Hank wouldn't be able to, but for some reason, I feel like Hank will. I don't know. Mike's good, but I feel like Hank's better. When when you've got that motivation. Oh, uh, I don't know. Hank's very much by the law. Mike knows how to get stuff people can't get. Hank's by the law? The reason why he is in this What position, did he do? He went knocking on a couple of caravans, uh, aside from the law, and he was... Everything else, the way he found the caravans was still through his police contacts. Like, I'm saying they're okay, but Mike finds shit that... the that you're not meant to find, the stuff that people can't get, people that people don't True. know. Okay. Hank called the call lines to find about Gus Fring, Fring, however Fring. say, in um, his cleaning company and then lawyers came on the phone, remember, and, and, yeah. and, and got him off. Like, whereas Mike's the guy that goes deeper than that. Yeah. Mike's the guy that knocks. Oh, Mike's the guy that knocks. <laughs> well, according to Walter, he's the only one that knocks, but that's okay. So, yeah, I, I think Mike's the better detective, but I think, Hank definitely has a good chance here. I'm not mm, saying that. True. I just wanted to clarify. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> but speaking of Walter and knocking, he just, I don't know, he lost a few screws last episode where he was just next level stressed. He obviously doesn't want to get caught because like he said to Jesse, Hank equals Gus equals us. Like, I didn't, I didn't yeah. know that was going to rhyme. But... And not just that, but... Even if they don't get caught and Gus wins and Gus has a, a inkling of a hunch that other than were involved, they're dead men. So yeah. there's just a lot at stake here. So understandably, well, it was pretty shit scared. And Well, he literally ran to the camera and was like, oh my God, please trust me. Please trust me. So we'll see. I want to see how this chase between Hank and Gus works out. I want to see how Gus is going to deal with this. He's looking pretty damn angry. Mm -hmm. I honestly, I, I, we've seen Gus, but we haven't. We haven't seen enough of him really like the start of this season just gus at his brutal most brutal self or when he got down to business you know so i want to see how he responds to all these threats that are happening around him yeah well it is interesting i've never seen gus smile so much at the start in his backstory to then he's just so dead serious all the time when it comes to business and like twitching he's twitching as well like he's yeah. really agitated yeah 
And then to have that confrontation with Teal or Hector is pretty crazy from where Gus started, like literally down here, dirt. Like he's lucky to be alive to then, you know, up here having Teal like sal salivating and shaking in his boots. It was, yeah, pretty crazy. And you keep saying you think Dill's going to talk again. Like, where's that come from? I don't know. From? I just feel like... The guy's well, got like... I don't know. It was like Alzheimer's or dementia or something. And Yeah, but you can talk. Not when, not when you get... Well, if you, I'm right about the disease. My, my great-grandfather had it. When you get to that point, it's just, you just keep deteriorating. You don't just yeah. get better. Like, he's just deteriorating. The man can't walk. He can barely, he can barely move his hands. He's literally like 99% Look, stable. I don't think he's got a, a memory problem because he seems to remember everyone and everything. No, so he might be he might not be a, a memory loss, but it might be something else. He's losing every, all the motor control and everything in his body. Yeah, yeah. True. Anyways, I just don't know how he lost his voice. So I feel like it could be like an injury or something. I don't know. Anyway. The comic were laughing at you when you thought that uh, he was called. the one that called. Yeah, like... <laughs> Yeah, it ain't it. Whatever. But Mark did mention that they can't deal with the cartel and Hank at the same time. So cartels coming in and closing in like real soon. And I feel like that's really going to tie into Gus's backstory as well. So we might get a bit more there. Thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the channel. If you do want to get three to four weeks of early access to our edited and uncut reactions, We'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, shit. There's blood already. It's either Gus or Walter's glasses. That's Gus's shoes. It's definitely Gus's shoes. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh, hang on, no, it could be Walter's shoes, actually. No, that's... Yeah, it's Walter. Oh no, is it his canter? Yeah, yeah, no, they're Walter's shoes. I mean, it could be... Uh, the reason why I thought it was his canter sometimes, like, when you have, like, a... We've seen him cough out blood before, yeah. Yeah. You ready to get your rocks on? See? I knew it. Mineral show is just some sort of guy code for strip club. So again, he's got him in on it. Probably to go and collect it again. The little tracker. Well, if it's placed in the car, then it's not going to be sus that Gus took it out because it would just show the location was there. Yeah. He might have used it for normal drive, but not for certain drives, you know what I mean? It's not as sus as you think then. Relax, buddy. It's a little spy movie. <laughs> Hank's so excited to get all this data. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum. Is that Mike following him? I don't know, I'm just driven to Hank. Bum, 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 da, bum, bum, bum. It's, it's a eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight. It lies in a pool in the of my life. He doesn't even know the words. He doesn't know the words. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I want to watch this episode again just for that. That was mad. <laughs> Oh, it's the other guy. I keep forgetting his name. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, he did put it back on. Yeah, of course. It's Gus, dude. What else do you think he is? All right, baby. Let's see what we got. Even Walter's nervous. Like, what did Gus actually do? Start and end. Just from his home to work, it's all it's going to have. Is it? I'm assuming. What the hell? Look at this. Bump, 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 bump. That's work. That's home. That's work. That's home. As if he doesn't go anywhere else, like supermarket or nothing. Is it possible that maybe, just maybe, he's not your guy? Oh, guy, this clean's got to be dirty. Mm, that's true. That also applies to Walt, in a way. Yeah. How ironic. Someone in his back seat, or like, what? What was mm. that look? Someone following him. Yeah. Surely, Gus updated him. 
I live on the 4900 block of Doswell Place, and, and I want to report a very suspicious man who's lurking in my neighborhood. Oh, shit. He's making sure I can't hurt Hank. But the balls to do it in front of his face as well, so he knows. Damn, dude, that's a good move. Yeah, go, Walter. So he's looking out for Hank as well. I'll rate it. Oh, he better. Man with lung cancer is now smoking. Fantastic. Making progress. So what have you been up to? What? This is really sus. A day in the life. What do you do after work? Well, he wants to know what business he's got with Gus, I reckon, and Mike. Oh man, don't you have enough cancer already? <laughs> I said, I'd do it. I'll do it. Yeah, well, what does it matter? We're both dead men anyway. Oh, shit. At the point behind him smoking? I don't know, but like in more ways than one, hey. The relationship really doesn't get any any closer. Like I've always thought that would get more, you know, buddy like. It's only when they're in emergency that they're close. I know. I just wanted to tell you that business is good. Really good. So good that I'm thinking maybe you don't need to even work your second job. No. Too much information, Skylar. Damn, that's interesting. Maybe you could start thinking about an exit strategy. There ain't no exit strategy, love. That's too idealistic for this game. Unless Gus's head's on a platter. Think about this Gus Fring, right? About how he never goes anywhere. I mean, one restaurant home, one restaurant home, back forth, back forth. Which now I'm even more convinced is bullshit because the man owns 13 other restaurants, right? Mmm, true, true, thank you, boy. So I do a little digging, and bingo. Pollos Hermanos has a main distribution center. Uh, it's not far from town. And the place is huge. Oh, no. Oh. The cleaning place, is it? Where they meet. Remember with all the chickens? He can't go there because they'll recognize him. This is just going to give Walter a death sentence. Another one. You know, I just, I, I, I would just really love to be the one to be able to, to take you there and, and, um. Uh, yeah, if he's going to go and put himself in danger, Walter wants to at least help him. And you'll see Pinkman's car there. He'll see Walt's car. Like... No, but this isn't at the laundromat. It's at that other place. Remember with all the chickens where Gus usually has his meetings with his platter? Oh, okay. Okay. What is it, Walter? My brother-in-law, my D, he... he... Soon he will probably, in the near future, take a ride out to a certain distribution center to look around for things. Oh my God. The thing is, he's trying to keep Hank safe, but also not by doing this. Give me heads up, yeah. Oh no. Walter, what have you done? Thank you. Please give this to your car care professional. We haven't seen Ted at all. He's even gone. I know. I just threw him in the bin. What the hell? So, a hand wax for you today? Okay, great. <laughs> Putting a few more bills in that weren't really there. Is she doing that for the laundry though, or to convince Walter to get out of his second job? Nah, she needs to launder money. Oh, dude, speaking of which. Nah, how did you know? How did I bring that up right into you? No way. I'm gonna need to talk to you. Why? I mean, look how I left it. No, maybe because of his money issues. We have anything to talk about. Actually, we do. An audit? Oh, shit. Oh my god. This is the CID. The criminal division. My god, you're facing a felony charge here. So is she though. Yeah. Maybe there's some way you could uh, undo what's in there. You want me to uncook your books? Oh my god. My name. My signatures 
are all over those books. I thought she would have realized that sooner rather than later. That's because they're allowed to ah. mail, mail and tap your phones and not just you, Ted. Everyone oh, involved. Oh, no. And she's now involved with Walter, so she doesn't want to get oh, all this. Oh, my it. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're going to be fine, okay? They're, they're after me. This guy's so naive. Of course he doesn't know what she's doing. You have no idea, Ted. I'm going to figure out a way through this somehow. Okay? Damn, dude. She's knee deep in shit, too. Oh, my God. Just their luck. Here. Fire out. So Hank would have actually caught them out if not for this. ALD agent poking around your junk. He's going to start acting paranoid so he can get a meeting with Gus. And there's, there's Mr. White. Who would be even more apeshit if you had family getting murdered. Yeah, true. Interesting. You haven't seen the dark side of him until that happens. Holy shit. Jesse, run, please, Jesse, run. Is that the cartel or what? Jesse, what are you doing? Mike saved his ass. Holy shit. Oh my fuck, I can't breathe. You get comfortable, kid. We may be here a while. Shit. Dude, Mike's class. He's so composed. Holy shit. Gus is here. Lucky Hank is in here. Hey. Get out. What the hell? What the oh. fuck? Who is this man? He's just striking them off. He's like... Because he knows they won't kill him. Holy shit! God, the beast! What the? He like respects it. He's like, come get me, bitch. Oh, oh my man. god. That, there's a lot to a whipping. There's a lot to unpack there. Holy shit. I can't believe what we just saw. Yeah, that's what I wanted. My adrenaline is just like through the roof right now. <laughs> you guys. Okay, there is West now. SC. The is answer that... is yes, that's the deal? That's what I was thinking. Because he initially said no. Hmm. It's unlike us to buckle. Well, I don't know if I'd call that buckling what I just saw before, but... The body? I thought so. They're oh my do... god, they're gonna have to do their thing again. And Jesse has to handle it. That's not fair, man. What did this poor bastard do to piss off Gus? Or did Gus just need to send another message? Shut your mouth. Wrong idea. Oh, you shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. I don't want you talking to me or Jesse. Just get the barrel. Oh. Oh shit. And if you ever plan on calling the cops on one of my guys again, you go ahead and get two barrels. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, Walt. I was waiting for a response. Now nah, he knows his position. He knows where he sits on the hierarchy. What was the deal with Gus? The deal? A Terminator shit? Walking yeah. right into the bullets? <laughs> what the hell was he doing? The cartel needs Gus. His distribution network. They're not looking to kill him. Okay. Damn, it's a big bluff. Is he doing anything about that? Or do we just keep hanging out for target practice while Kid. he's... Enough. You got questions. Ask him yourself. Set up that meeting. Oh, shit. Let's go. Mike treats Jesse very differently to Walter. Yeah. It used to be the other way around. Yeah, I know. Do you want to say something about this? Because... I'm having a hard time figuring it out. I'd, I'd have to um, 
Oh God, he's in oh, deep Skyler's shit. In. <laughs> and because of him, Skylar's now in deep shit. Oh, I am so sorry. I am late. I got lost. Hey, Dad. Sky. Woo! This building is so confusing. She's the hell. She's acting like a ditz on purpose. Well, then perhaps you can shed some light on this history of missing revenue. Missing? No, it's there. No, it's there. <laughs> but it's not all accounted for in your reports. Huh. She's gonna, yeah, she's gonna make it feel like she's all ditzy and it's her fault. We'll just try to woo him a little bit. So anyway, since there wasn't a physical check, I didn't enter it into the book, but the money's there. Surely this covers it up, no? You're not allowed to do that. Well, I think I am. No, you're not. Well, you know what they say about opinions, right? Everyone's got one. <laughs> so the only thing is just shit accountant and blame it all on her. That's class. You're not managing accounts anywhere else, are you? Right now? No. Nope. I'm a cashier at a car wash. Don't oh, even say that. Hot. Don't even say that, though. Don't link yourself to the car wash. Pay the penalties and move on from this. Just put it behind you. <laughs> Pay with what? I owe them $617,000. We don't care. Sort it out. If you don't pay them, they will reopen the investigation. And that little fiction I just spun up there is going to completely unravel. Don't tell me Walt is going to end up paying for this bullshit. That's what I'm wondering. Wish I could. To cover their ass, you have to pay that as well. Oh, oh BMW's gone. Oh, shit. He's really struggling. Holy shit. Is this Gus's house? Oh shit, it is too. Damn. He must think highly of Jesse if he's letting him come to his house. Tell me, is he gonna give the same speech? So now he's getting the Walt treatment. We'll eat first. And then we'll talk. Oh, no, well, he's gonna make you eat too. He's gonna be so nervous, dude. Did he do it or not? Probably not. I have invited you into my home. Prepare food. So we could sit and talk. Oh my God, he's so stern. Discuss what's going on in this business. Our business, like men. Oh, Our business. But first, I need you to eat my soup. One question for me. Oh. Walter's formula. Oh my god, no way. Can you produce this product without any help? Alone? No. Good answer. Even though he can. Me? The junkie loser you were about to waste and dump in the desert a month ago? Oh shit, he's talking very freely. I like it. Be my buddy and make me feel Important. Mm. Jesse's all clued up. Then get me to keep cooking for you after you kill Mr. White. Damn, Jesse, speaking straight. Let's talk like men. You kill Mr. White, you're gonna have to kill me too. Oh, I like it. I need you to help prevent an all out war. How? Him? Now, if you would. Answer the question. Well, give him more details and maybe he might answer it. Like, I don't get it. Like, why are you asking if you, it's not to kill Walter? It's got to do with the cartel. Oh, no. Tell me she's... Is that the Holly's room or... No, it's the money? cash, yeah. Yeah. She's going to go get cash for Ted. Hey, you, uh... You had it out? He wants to tell him something. They won't get a moment alone and they've really separated them on purpose, haven't they? Oh, very smart. Very smart. Oh. On Jesse. That's why he bought it. Oh, shit. He's going to say that Jesse went to Gus's house. Yo, Mr. White, hey, uh, 
I really got to talk to you. I, I, I don't know if you're with your family or whatever, but this is uh, important. So, um, and he's not going to trust him when he's finally trying to tell him the truth. Please, come on. Oh, he came over. Okay, that's good. But I feel like it's going to be a big blow up. Who knows? Please go well. So, uh, word has come down that they they want me to go to Mexico. There's some some sort of war brewing between Gus and the and the cartel. I think he needs to tell him how he got that information, and then the trust is all good. So the cartel wants half of Gus's entire operation, and they want your formula. Oh shit! I mean, I'm supposed to go to Mexico and and teach a bunch of cartel chemists how to cook a batch of blue. Why would Gus give that up? No way. Uh, I mean, if, if I if I mess this up, I am dead. You know, I'm all all of us. Walt, say something. I want to hear what you have to say. So you saw Gus? What? No. Oh. You didn't see Gus. Because he doesn't want to kill him. He's going to struggle with that. Why are you... You weren't at Gus's house last night. What? What the hell? Jeez. Still here. Still here. It's not fair for you to ask him to kill another person. I know. It's a, it's a lot. There was just this one big pot of stew, okay? He just made this one big pot and we And he had to eat it. Yeah. Yeah, it's fair. Hours and 18 minutes and you couldn't figure out a way to give it to him. Oh. He never left the room. Are you lying, little shit? You had one thing to do. Oh my God, Jesse, pick up on it. Time was exact. Two hours and 18 minutes. Mm -hmm. You never had any intention of killing him, did you? Shut up, Walter. Were you following me? This. This is how I knew. There you go, another wedge between them. Far out. You put a bug on my cord? I'm sorry, after everything you've done for me? What you've done for me? He killed people for ya. You. you killed me is what you've done! You've signed my death warrant! And now you want advice? Walter is so unfair when he gets screwed up. Go and screw up like I know you will. And wind up in a barrel somewhere. Oh, shit. I guess that's the blood. <sighs> oh, no. There's the glasses. Oh, shit. Come on, Jesse, dude. You're losing to this old man. We're gonna kill each other before anyone gets a chance. Oh shit! <laughs> what a trade blows. Are you boys done? Far out, boy. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, just see enough. What is happening between these two men? Get your shit together. Get the fuck out of here and never come back. Again, they've gone down this path, man. Oh my oh. god. And he literally just said to Gus, if you're going to kill me, you have to ki uh, kill Walter, you have to kill me. Oh man, these two, Jesus. What a fucking episode. That was a pretty hyped episode. That was sick. Standout scene by far is Gus just walking head on to those sniper bullets. So much happened. Yeah, ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right, where do we begin? Because this is crazy. Let's start with the small fry. Skylar and Ted. 
I don't know how you called it, but you called it Ted's in the scene. It was just funny. I had a feeling. I didn't know he would come, but I was just like sort of missed him or thought about him. She was yeah. there working and I was like, we haven't seen him for a while. Yeah. And then man literally walks in the next scene, like ridiculous. Oh my God. It's like you you saw the episode and you said it right at the perfect time. That's what it felt like to me. Oh, dude, the timing was ridiculous. I, I, I can already see the comments being like, oh, Spider must watch before. <laughs> hey, it's all up here. <laughs> but no, nah, that was, yeah. So that was interesting. Skylar, it's funny because her and Walt are a lot more alike than you think. Yeah. She's really, really tricky and able to get herself out of deep situations using her talents and once again she did a massive yeah. clutch play and saved ted big time and i think she's gonna save him again by giving him all his money i mean it's probably easier back then than it is now to you know stop the investigation and whatnot but she is right it is more ignorance rather than intentional criminal activity but she played it well and hats off to her like you said she's really good at thinking on her feet she didn't oh, well i guess she did have to get involved in that situation didn't she because like she said her name is signed everywhere i love how she found that loophole that was really well written yeah you're like how the hell is she gonna get out of this without getting her business audited but now yeah. they've just gone oh she's an idiot but i don't like how she mentioned the car wash like yeah she's just a cashier i think it was yeah. pretty well handled yeah i hope so i just hope it doesn't Come to bite her on the ass. But yeah, like you said, Walter is going to have to pay for that bullshit now. Unless he one day comes to the car wash and she's all well spoken and he's like, aren't you the lady from before? And then if he comes to the car wash, that'd be interesting. Oh my God. But you know what the other thing is? Skylar did say, look, I don't know how much money everything was. I forgot how much that Ted had to pay back. Was it only 600k? Not only, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Only no, I'm saying only because of the money that Walter has. So it's only a little bit of Walter's. Can they really afford it, but they're still like... Yeah. Because I'm just going back to the conversation that Skylar said to Walt, you know, you can quit your second job, maybe think of an exit strategy. But then you're drying up all his money for Ted now, so... I know. Isn't it funny? It's always like the bigger the mess gets, he's working, but he's still able to afford it, but he's paying for Hank's rehabilitation mm -hmm. they're gonna pay to get ted off his back which is not actually his well it is but it isn't like skylar's mistake but by having skylar in on this business it then loops in on each other so it's skylar's fault it's skylar's fault skylar willingly yes but yeah. it's also walter's fault because he the business is in like yeah. launching everything yeah. he's also susceptible to it so it's true. both of them it true, just true. didn't work out but i like man that's the pace like two million on just stuff that's not nothing to do with him. i know i know well, to be fair, I think with the hang situation, he kind of caused that as well. Like, he uh, all accountability on Hank's behalf, you know, that is his job and whatnot, but he made it kind of messy, you know? Mm. Yeah, damn. All right, well, let's go on to the next big order of business. Let's go. I mean, there's so much of it. Let's go to, to Gus and Jesse. I mean, yeah. Gus wants Jesse to try and prevent a war. He wants, if we to believe everything Jesse said... Wants him to go to Mexico and teach him their formula, but that I seems just, so yeah. Like, look, why? That's the, the the biggest asset he's got is that formula. Because why would you wait? Does that mean that Gus still has the formula on this side of the border, but he's giving them that formula on the other side of the border? Like, is that what's yeah. happening? Yes, he'll still have his territory, but yeah. they lose the leverage, the uniqueness to yeah. their. And I guess that kind of ties into the background, isn't it? Because, sorry, ties into the backstory because when Gus offered to teach him their meth formula a long time ago, yeah. they laughed in his face and now they're like pretty much begging for it. Mm, that's true. That's true. I don't know. It, it just doesn't feel like Gus to, I don't know, just put his, lay down his arms and give up defeat i don't know i don't know yeah i like to think there's a plan here but i also don't know it'd be weird jesse goes to mexico how's this season gonna play out because walter's gonna be alone like the direction it's potentially heading in it's just still so gray we get more questions than answers as we go deeper in the each season i just think they want you to think it's gonna go a certain direction and then it's just gonna flip on its head and it's like oh shit, i didn't even see that coming that's why the story writing in this is so great because 
it just flips and flops all the time. Like you just don't know which direction it's going in. You don't really know who the bad guy is in the sense of who the next person is going to take someone out. And you can't really predict the direction of the story at all. When you think it's going one way, it goes completely that other one. But like you said, Gus and that, like he literally just walked out there. It's like, let it rain on me. That was that boot. was sick. One of the best scenes in the whole show, hands down. That was, yeah. Epic. Oh, dude, like that. The man just keeps <laughs> not disappointing. I know. Well, he knew they're going to try and intimidate him, but they needed him. On the other hand, I do feel very sorry for Jesse because, like he put it, he's in, a, in between a rock and a hard place. He has seen someone get killed. He had to dispose of another body. Walter has palmed off, and I get the reasoning, but he's palmed off another murder for Jesse. Like, it's pretty ridiculous. You know how he's dealt with the last two or three. Stop giving him that job. Yeah. Their relationship is, is, I would have thought by the, I mean, obviously this show is predictable, but I really would have thought by now they would have developed a decent we hope that. rock solid friendship. Like, they've got each other's backs at times, the way they both say, you kill him, you kill me. They've got each other's backs, not in front of each other. But in front of each other, they're always freaking treating like like, shit. I'm like, God damn it, man. Like, I'd love to see... Remember when they got stranded in the desert and they were cooking? Mm -hmm. Remember when they were, like, celebrating a bit? Like, you know what? Let's get a hotel in. Yeah, I know. Dude, holy shit. That just took me back. Yeah. They used to cook out of a little, like, caravan. I know. Back when it was just them. No guys, nothing. Wow. Okay, that that took me back. (laughs) But... Remember when you know they were gonna like celebrate it, like we've done this, you know, and just gonna hang out a bit like buds. Not that it ever worked out that way, but like mm-hmm. oh, damn, they just can't catch a break. Their friendship and Walter's definitely because he's so paranoid and cynical and often doing the barking and ordering around. Mm-hmm. He does drive that wedge in, and he doesn't give Jesse the benefit of the doubt that he's capable. There's no belief in him. Of course, Jesse's gonna like feeling believed in by someone else when yeah. Walter always looks at him as lesser, you know. Yeah, imagine feeling that way all the time. And that's why it's intriguing that now Jess is having his turn with Gus and with Mike and building those relationships. And it's interesting how he's dealing with those relationships compared to how Walter did. It's very different, isn't it? Walter always wanted to be the big guy and he knew that he wasn't above them, but he also acted like that, if that makes sense. Whereas Jesse is happy to be in his place where he's stood in the hierarchy, but he's not afraid to buck up and like say it how it is. So they come from different approaches. Mad respect for Jesse, the way he handled Gus. Mm -hmm. Mad respect. The way he spoke to him, the way he was just real upfront with his thoughts and intentions. Like he knows who Gus is, but yeah, huge, huge props to him. Oh yeah, for sure. So we still haven't picked up on Hank's side of things. Yeah. Lucky, can you can you imagine? Lucky Walter said he had a stomach bug. Because if Hank was there at the time... Well, remember, they were only there because they were cleaning out because of Hank. So I don't know if the, the, the sniping still might have gone down. I'm not sure, but... Mm, no, I still feel like the cartel would have come to his area of operations. And because it's not like he would want to Maybe, but having... Gus, Mike, all the OGs, like, it's very much a performance. Now, if the cartel had o- eyes and ears on Gus, roughly on his whereabouts, it makes sense they'd want a demonstration potentially, there. Potentially. I don't know, but I'm just, like, thinking it all seems a bit too coincidental. If it really worked out that way perfectly, then, okay, it's pretty unlucky. I'm not sure. The way I read it was that he wanted just to send a message and killing his men at his base of operations was a pretty big damn message because he wasn't afraid to shoot his own guy, like, his guys. So... I don't know. I feel like if Hank was there with Walt, that that would have been a lot. At the end of the day, I don't know. I just feel like this deal with the cartel isn't the be all and end all. We've still got, I think, half a, oh yeah, a few episodes of this season, and then a full on season. I think it's sixteen episodes, season five. So the cartel ain't done yet. Like there is a. I feel lot. like the cartel and then Gus. And Walter being mixed with them is going to be like a big part of the story. Yeah. And then towards the end, it's going to tackle, okay, now how does Walter live with everything he's done with? Who's going to find out about him? Mm. What's his legacy going to be? I don't know. I feel like it's going to be more of a sad sort of ending. I feel like everyone's going to find out. And I don't think this story deserves a happy ending. It just doesn't. It doesn't. 
Guys, we hope you've enjoyed our reaction to this episode. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe for more, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you guys on our next reaction. See you guys.